welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be reviewing the small HT X3000 chronograph that fits in front of your barrel to pick up your pellet speed and the joules that it works out. So let's go back to it and show you what's inside the box. The small box. See you in a bit. As soon as you open up the box you'll find numerous packages uh, including your base plates your screwdriver, optional extra will be your barrel quick coupler uh, which you can buy extra like I said but there's an updated one where you can get it for different sizes of your barrel as you can see this is just for a number 20 mil barrel in this package you'll find your chronograph, your charger, velcro strap that you can find as well including your bolts and nuts and your silicone tubes that fit over the shafts of the chronograph. Two optional base plates in there for the bigger sizes. This will be your no-go gauge to see on uh, what barrels it could fit. This is the maximum size, so if your silence or barrel fits in here, you may be able to use this chronograph. So as you can see, I've got a Donny Sumo silencer. I'm gonna use a ruler to see the size of it, and it is roughly about 40 millimeters in size just to check for the numbers on each and every single plate that I've got that you can put in your pins. Once again no-go gauge to see if it will work it fits inside there perfectly with some gaps on the side so it will work perfectly. In this packet you will find a small and large plate and the small plate will range from 20 to 31 millimeters installation method and the large plate within the range of 16 to 43 millimeters installation method and they all are numbered. First what you would like to do is put the small plate onto the chronograph and tighten it up with your pins in number 24 if you're going to use a Donny FL and then you're going to install the base plate that is the large one on top of the small one. I will show you in due time on this video. Why I'm telling you guys to do it this way is so when you get a different silencer which is smaller you'll be able to remove the pins out of number 40 and install them into the smaller ones if needed. can see this is the correct way of installing these plates. See how easy it is in to install these pins with this type of method putting the plates together without removing the second plate to get the screwdriver underneath. You can just hand tighten them in installing the pins you would want to put your silicone hoses over your pins to protect your silencer. Once that is done install your silencer once the silencer is on and you're happy with it all lining up so no clipping will occur You can then go ahead and install your Velcro strap to secure your chronograph to your silencer or barrel.
Just a quick overview on the quick coupler that you can purchase separately to install onto your Konograph. That it means you don't have to tighten it with a Velcro strap, it comes with a quick coupler. There are different sizes available. Just check which size of barrel you're using or silence. Guys, let's have a look at the quick overview of this. To switch it on, hold the on button. To switch on, it will give you a self-test. Front and behind sensors are good. If you want to see the battery levels, push up. You'll get your battery levels. Push enter to get it away. If you press downwards, you get your data playback. In your data playback, you've got up to 120 shots that it will record. You got your set memory. You press enter to get into that preset. You got six presets that you can set here. On number one, where the arrow is, I set it to be for the JSB 18.13 grain pellets. And to get that whole number that you need to put in is not 18.3, you put the 1.17 in. As you would see, there's 1.17. Press exit. You got your auto power off. You go into there. You got one minute, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Set it as you please. Backlighting, you can have it on, off, or auto. Unit reset, you can set it to feet per second or meters per second. You will be able to reset your data playback. All 120 shots you can clear again if you have it full. And that's how easy it is to use. Guys, this thing you can easily see it's user friendly it's not that hard to use charge this thing it's pretty easy i just got a jack port i will show you on a photo how it looks and let's go see how this thing works.